All right, magical merfolk fun with the singleton. So chatty, that means that I can only have one of each card in my deck, except for basic land. Well, I do not have a great starting hand, but uh, I've got three lands, so let's try and see how this works out. Oof. There we go. So when I cast this guy, I either have to pay the two, one blue, one colorless, and an additional three, which I do not have, or I can reveal a merfolk in my hand, which I just drew here. So when I play him, I'll click reveal merfolk, click on shaper apprentice, and submit. Now I draw a card and end my turn. So now he knows what card is here. So now I'll play this. I'll uh, drop out another merfolk. Since he's wide open, I might as well attack. Hit for three, two. He's playing blue-black, so I figure he's got counter spells and destroy target creature. So that's a non-basic land when it comes into play. It's top chatty, but he also gets to gain one life. When he taps it, it could be blue or black, whatever he chooses. Not gonna have a shortage of land this time. Even a typhoon begins with a single raindrop. So this guy here, I do not need to target a creature. I'll just hit next, and then I'll sh bring up the card for you to see there, buddy. In the meantime, I will attack with two. And swing all out. I'll end my turn. So this is a planeswalker, buddy. It's got what we call loyalty points. It's hit points of the planeswalker, more or less. Uh, I can give him two uh, on my turn to do this ability here. Three will allow me to put out a 4-4 four, four flyer. And Buddy's playing a pretty sweet card there. And with the last one, minus eight, all my islands will be able to tap to draw a card. Six, six, flying tramp. Oof. He's going to pay two life. I'll let him drain his life if he wants to do that. leave that up while he's doing his turn so you can read it. Oh, I jumped too quick. Yay, more land. Benefit is I can actually take away his flying ability. Learn some respect. Still going to kick my butt, but let's see here. Might as well attack with my one flying. I took away his flying until start of my next turn, so. So he's going to destroy a creature with convert mana cost 3 or less, coincidentally, my flyer. And now he's going to make me discard 2 cards, so I'll get rid of the island. And we'll get rid of Nature's Spiral. 
Oh, that is not the one I wanted to get rid of. That was stupid of me. And I will let that damage through. Mortals are so reckless. I'm perfectly okay with him attacking my planeswalker. Play another forest. I will do his plus two ability. The sky is mine. But I'm also gonna bounce this guy. Hope to give myself another turn, more or less, to uh, try and draw a card to save my ass. Attack with the one. Now I'll put out a 4-4 four, four flyer. The winds to victory. Gonna save that island in case he goes to make me discard again. He must be worried I've got a counter spell. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Just trying to buy some time. First things first, let's boost his loyalty points. Hold your temper. got him within kill range if he doesn't kill off my creature. However, he'll be able to block, so not quite this turn. Actually. So before it goes to my turn, I'm going to play some trickery. Gonna boost this guy, put two 1-1 one, one counters on him, plus one plus one counters, and then I'll play this to put one more. So now I'm at five, I can deal the damage when I play this guy here. I'm gonna tap all creatures opponent controls. Now that 6-6 six, six cannot block. And he was not going to give me the satisfaction of finishing the game. But there it is.